Notifications. There are deals you may like similar to free dirt. <coughs> oh boy, what a steal. No, literally, I'm gonna steal it. Listen, who would I really be robbing? It's not like I'm stopping anybody from making money off of this stuff, though I will still ask for a tip after I'm done stealing from you. Hi again, guys, and y'all know Facebook is a godforsaken wasteland. We've covered it before, but one place we have never set foot into is the Facebook Marketplace. That corner of the site is a truly homegrown, grassroots den of sickness, and you can find some crazy stuff on it. Top Gun jumpsuit for $10. Here's the thing with this costume, the main zipper is a double zipper, and it has pulled off at the bottom end, so if you can sew, this is a bargain. And I mean, hey, it did sell. I really dig this guy doing the lightning in my veins pose, even if he doesn't realize that's what he's doing. We are getting these posts from perhaps the nichest subreddit I have ever covered, r slash stuff on Facebook Marketplace. This thing has 250 members, so y'all know I am really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. If you enjoy this video, this card at the end will take you to the last time we covered some Facebook filth, and less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. I'm offering a service where you pay $45, and I protect you for the night. I will be your personal gargoyle. I will perch myself above your bed in your room, and watch over you as you sleep and protect you from sleep paralysis demons. Man, Arkham Batman would have loved to use you as a stand. This perch is on top of your back as you, like, barely cling onto the wall behind you. I can understand the appeal of this, like, you want to protect somebody from the things they see bumping in the night, but it kind of defeats the purpose when the outline of you just looks exactly the same as those things they are shitting their pants over. And listen, dude, I'm not trying to say you aren't, like, physically capable, but there be some monsters in my dreams, bro. Are you sure you can take those on? Kids' birthday cacks. I make luxuries kids' cacks prices from 30 euros. Euros? Pounds? Whichever. Can also do Christmas cacks like Santa and Snowman. PM me, hun. Can deliver for pity money. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about cacks, but these things are definitely cracked out their minds. Cinderella? More like Blitzer- <sighs> Jesus. I think the best out of all of these is probably the minion, and that's just because those things are very basic shapes. So even if you mess it up as badly as this woman has here, it still kind of looks like the source material. I had a really hard time figuring out if that was like Mickey Mouse in the bottom right or a really bad Sonic OC. You can tell this person struggles the most with the human face. Those are the consistently most lumped and weird looking parts out of all of these. To be fair though, Cinderella is kind of mogging me like holy shit that jawline. So this listing has two for $10. Uh, the two being the tacos. Oh, they do look kind of good. Um, by the time they got to me, they'd probably be moldy though, so I'm not really sure if I'm down to buy this. There is, like, a part of me that just needs to know the next chapter in a story. Like, I need to know if these actually sold. Is there anybody doing what we're doing here, except actually committing to the bit and it's scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and buying shit themselves? I, I know they do that on YouTube, but do people do that for fun? Eat those tacos and risk getting dysentery just for the bit between your friend group? You blade, bro? Used roller skates for $69. Oh, this guy thinks he's a real jokester, doesn't he? You think you're slick? Send seller a message. Is this still available? I'm gonna be honest. A part of me kind of wants to try those. Assuming the boots are securely fastened to those office chair legs, I kind of want to know what it would feel like to be a rollerblading spider. I know it doesn't add to eight, it's ten, but cut me some slack here, man. These are actually being sold in Australia, so I can see them having some utility that they just would not have here in America. There's very unique creatures you gotta be wary of that these boots might be specially designed to fend off. You know what they say, starting a business is about filling a niche and actually serving a market. This person is selling a trash can that says thank you on it. They've affectionately named the trash can, good boy, good trash can, you are, you eat trash so good. And you might think that they're selling it for a high price at $111, but think about this for a second. It's been a long running thing that people just take random shit that they are not supposed to, like just people whose rooms are full of stop and traffic signs. You aren't supposed to have those and you also definitely shouldn't have that GameStop rack of games that's completely empty, where did you get that? Maybe we've just stumbled onto the market of where they're actually sourcing these things from. I can think of at least three people who would buy a McDonald's trash can that says thank you on it just because they want to put it in the background of their webcam so that it looks funny when they're on Discord calls. These dudes don't even stream. It's not for content. They don't get the business expense, any of that. They just do it because they love it. It's hard to find people who are just in it for the love of the game these days. I'm certainly not. I need to pay my rent through this shit. The occasional chair for, uh, nope, $50. That's not that bad for something like that. Maybe because I'm so rich and famous, my uh, perception of money is just incredibly skewed. Like, if I didn't want that chair anymore, I'd personally just give it to one of the homies for free if they were looking. But if it's an occasional chair, what occasions was it used for? It might have the proportions to be the cuck chair, like you put it in the corner and you just leave it there until the time comes. <laughs> 
comes. Or it could be the one in the corner of your living room that you sit in when you gotta contemplate some existential stuff. It happens. Used coffin for sale. At $500, I no longer need it. Still has some good use, I'm sure. I decided on cremation later on. Could use some updating. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If you had a loved one who just died, $500 for a coffin is a steal. Those things and funerals in general are so expensive, man. Nothing like extracting money out of a grieving family, right? The thing is, I don't necessarily believe this person on why they say they don't need this coffin anymore. I think that the person who is inside it came back to life. The cremation's a convenient cover story, but I personally just don't think you buy a coffin going that far, spending that much money, and then you think, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Well, too late to turn back. A real gambler would listen to the sunk cost fallacy, which is completely true in real. TV and VCR and DVD players. Dude, that first guy is absolutely posing. Look at him. Yeah, serve. I'm sure they meant to put those pictures in a personal photo album on Facebook and then pick the wrong listing, but the part that's tripping me up the most is I have never seen someone put the dots between a V, a C, and an R, and especially not in DVD. I understand that they are abbreviations, but just like all caps of man, people will know what you're talking about. Like, have you ever seen someone put the periods next to F and B and I? They don't even do that shit. It looks weird. Campbell's boy, $20. Please, I need him gone. Ugh, dude, I could tell why from the full body pic. Why are you zooming in close? Bro, back up. I don't think it's a controversial thing to say that uh, creepy dolls are not cool, but if you need him gone, why not just like incinerate him or toss him away? Is there some kind of curse on it that you can't lift unless you give it to someone else via a transaction? I don't know, if you just really needed him gone and the only thing wrong with it was that it was a little unsettling, you could have just tossed it. There's something fishy here, guys. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't get this product. Rare chair shaped as a high heel. Excellent condition. Collection only. For like a hundred buckaroonies? Jesus. I know collection only probably means you have to like go to them to pick it up if you want to buy it, but I like to imagine it means you're not allowed to fucking sit on it. This is an art piece, and if you don't sign a contract agreeing to use it only for that purpose, then you don't get to buy it. And I mean, when you think about it, you really only imagine heels getting shoved up your ass, not putting your ass on one. It's like kind of a weird role reversal if you think about it. An essential piece. The inflatable cart for the Wii. Dude, there was no way they were selling this for 25 dollars when it was retailing. Was this an actual add-on for Mario Kart? Because it spells cart with a K. I'm pretty sure Nintendo has copyrighted spelling that wrong, and it uses a lot of the official Wii branding, so if it's an off-brand product, we are getting into some dangerous territory here. Nintendo is a very litigious organization, and part of me kind of wants to see how ridiculous a thing they are willing to pursue lawsuits over. I'd like that part to shut up now, please, because it just means more trouble. <laughs> iPhone 6S, trade for PS4. It's free. There's like a very weird overlap in the way that both little kids and elderly people type on the internet. They make a lot of the same mistakes and typos and have similar knowledge on how to use these devices as one another. So you have to use context clues to guess what age group the text you're reading is from. I'm gonna say probably a kid, but this is also like a five-year-old post, because he still has a 6S. I don't think there's a single one of those alive nowadays. And he's asking to trade for a PS4. I guess that trade would make sense now if your 6S is still breathing. You got last-gen tech, so you trade it for last-gen tech. Stolen. Free! <laughs> I do like to think that this is an efficient way of getting the evidence off your hands. The only issue is that, you know, you're putting the evidence on the internet, presumably with your full legal name attached to it, and with a picture of its general location that people might be able to cross-reference. But, if you're able to beat the police to the punch, if you pick this up, are they allowed to take it back from you? I don't know, the ethics are dubious, but the rewards have the potential to be big. Oh my god, it's the Handjob Master 3000 for a cool $35. Bro, I cannot believe they're even dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace. They just grabbed a generic item, a shake weight in this case. They named it after something that I guess technically you could use it to train for, given hand jobs. And boom, it's a new product. $35. Hand them over. Medical patches and phone device in PSP for sale. Hit me up ASAP. Any questions, hit me up. Make best offer. For a buck? And that stayed up for 12 hours? Dude, I'm getting that shit immediately. I know the phone's kind of useless when you have a newer one already, but it's a PSP, man! There was so much gas on those things, and it's a real shame that it died a very sad death. This had to be like a parent cleaning out their kid's closet after they went on to college. I, I don't know what the medical patches were doing there, but old phone, check. PSP, check. And if somebody ended up buying it, which if I do about this ad soon,
sooner, I would've. That kid probably would've been looking for their PSP and been pissed that their mom sold it. I would just take a lot of joy in knowing that I was responsible for the breakdown of that family dynamic. Large dog kennel. A uh, $200. <laughs> that really even be considered a kennel? Cause from my understanding, a kennel is how you transport the dog, right? I mean, I don't know who this is. Congrats to him on his cheeks. The only thing that could make this a funnier post is if he wasn't wearing shoes and just had the dogs hanging out. Or, or if he proved how big the kennel is by putting his entire upper body inside it. That way the cheeks are the only thing sticking out. You guys know which part of this I'm focused on. Massive tub of gravel. Price per bag. We'll need to bring your own. If you want all of it, message me for price. I will have another two massive tubs of this by the end of next week. I can deliver to you if needed. I, I don't know why he's saying to DM for the price because it says 123 pounds. I'm wondering if the dude selling this actually made a mistake and that's how much the gravel weighs. It, you gotta respect that it gives you plenty of options for how to obtain this gravel. Like, he will deliver if you need it. But if you do come this way, you have to bring your own bags and pay for each of your own bags that I let you fill. Dude, there's a use fee. Isn't the point of using my own bags in stores that I don't have to pay a fee? Jeez. I guess it's the price of the gravel itself worked into it, but it's probably hiked up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, we got an actually good deal here. I've paid $400 for this laptop, and I'm only asking for 100 Never used, and it's only eight months old. Shit, that's a steal. You know, just so we have all the details, is everything pictured in that image for sale? N n no reason, no reason. It's just there were some other items of interest in there. Uh, I was just thinking about it. Oh, uh, let's move on. We're almost done here. I sell snowman arms. $50. You can get these tree branches from literally any tree. Okay, yeah, sure. You can source your own ingredients by hunting if you want, but there are people who are experts in that field. This dude is not just randomly grabbing sticks off trees and then trying to sell them on Facebook Marketplace. That $50 price tag comes with the promise of experience. He is a curator. Like, I don't think there's any debate about there being a levels of quality in the sticks that you find on the ground. This dude is doing the hard work of finding you the best shaped ones. And whether you want to admit it or not, even if you think it's useless, it is labor. The hours he spent doing that work deserve fair compensation. And the last one we have is a meta post on the Facebook marketplace. Somebody charging $500 for what they call literal trash. Details, condition, uh, used to fair. Trash for sale because that's all there is on Facebook marketplace. Price non-negotiable. And even if you want to buy it, I'm not going to respond. In fact, I will be charging a service fee for every message sent to my inbox regarding my trash for sale. God, I love a good hater. And you know what? I think a solid meta post is a good way to wrap this video up. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I am currently for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Secondhand hoodie, condition well used by other men.